The next class that we're going to create in our game shell is going to be a panel that hangs on our um, window. So the J frame sits there and it's just an empty frame. Imagine like literally going to Target and buying a picture frame. There's nothing inside it. Uh, and now we're going to put a picture on our frame and we're going to call that game panel. Uh, the panel is going to be the main class for our game shell. Um, and so we're going to create a constructor that we'll work with, game panel. Uh, and we also, we want this to be part of the swing, uh, to take advantage of the parts of the swing library that have already been created for you. And so there's this object called a J panel, a class of objects. And that is already, it has lots of functionality uh, built into it. But we want to create a particular type of J panel, uh, Java panel. So we are going to extend J panel, extends J panel. Now we'll have to import J panel. And this is not meant to be mysterious. There are other ways to accomplish this goal uh, with different objects, but this is one pretty standard way to accomplish what we're trying to accomplish. So we make a particular type of game panel that is going to hang on game window. And um, the we do this because we don't we could just create an object of type J panel, but uh, we want to be able to manipulate its methods just to a small degree. So we're gonna in particular we're gonna override this method in the J panel class. So called um, public void paint component. This takes a graphics object as a parameter. So um, <clears throat> this is just something that you have to learn. Uh, you can't like just guess at this and kind of come up with how to make this sort of system work on your own. Um, so we, what we're doing is overriding. This is a method from the JPanel class that knows how to paint things to uh, this to a J panel. So this graphical tool that's passed over is able to put an image on a J panel. And so that's why that's that's what this accomplishes for us that we couldn't really do on our own. And in particular what we're going to hang here is the image that is the uh, that represents the the frame by frame animation that changes over time like 50, 50 times a second or 50 or 60 times a second. The image that's being updated 50 or 60 times a second to express the animation to show the movement of the pieces of our game um, as it progresses. We also um, are, well, let's see. The next thing that we're going to do is to create a couple different methods. So if you're thinking about like what needs to happen in a game, um, there needs to be like an updating of positions of objects. So if the ball is bouncing around the screen, uh, it needs to be able to like change its position over time, right? It has a velocity and it needs to increment its position based on that velocity over time. So we're going we're to have an, a method called public void update. And inside this method, eventually, uh, all of our game components are going to be updated. We're also going to have a method called public void draw, and uh, once the once the objects update, we're going to actually place them on the image. That's what this method is going to be used for. Uh, so we have update and draw, and we're going to have uh, a method called public void um, play game that's just going to be called in a different class. That's this is where the main game loop is going to be. So. Um, game loop and this is the updating things over time update based on time and create the image create image in memory so this is those are the the uses of our three main methods and then here is where we're going to actually uh, repaint the actual panel and hang the so this is going to be where we hang the the image on the the window that is popped up. So, like this method is just going to be used to like place the image on the window, and all that stuff will be clear. So, in this one, we just wanted to kind of give a rough outline of um, the main class, our game panel class.